guess you could say ODU and Loyola of Maryland have a history. You just have to go way back in those history books to find it. The last time they got together, ODU basketball legend Dave Twardzik played, and he was a sophomore. That was in 1969. The rematch tonight at the Chartway Arena in Norfolk. I haven't seen a lot of Malik Curry, but what I see I like. He's a very dynamic player, drives to the bucket there. Here he is, gets the ball, and is going to work the baseline, comes up with the reverse, led the way with 19 points, six assists. Looking good in that first half, the team was. Playing a little defense here. Jason Wade with the steal and the drive. They were up by 19 at halftime and cruising. Maybe cruising a little too much. They were uninspired, to say the least, in the second half. Xavier Green didn't do much in the first half, but he came alive a little bit in the second half. That's The lead got down to seven. He got it back up to 10 with that bucket and another one coming up here. So Green had 11 points. They need him to produce every game, basically. And then guess who again? It was Malik Curry with some style. ODU wins it 62 to 53 a win, but there weren't too many happy campers with how they played. We, we played in the second half the way we practiced yesterday. Not very good. Uh, it's, you know, we're, we're happy to get the win. It's, it's embarrassing to get out hustled and outplayed the way we were in the second half. Um, there's no excuse for it. Uh, we'll, we'll have to address it tomorrow. I wouldn't say it was no cruise control. It just, we, we wasn't playing hard at the end. And we kind of like cruise, kind of, we kind of cruise though. Coach not having that though, you know, we got to be better at practice tomorrow. But I think we could play way better. We need to push the tempo more. Uh, we need to get more fast break points. We need to keep it going. I think uh, we, we let off the pedal, like I said, and we weren't scoring and that allowed them to catch up.